church community is not that God likes or cares about us more than people that don't go to church. Everyone's divine. Everyone's loved by God. But so often we don't live with an awareness of spirit. Often we don't live knowing that we don't have to carry our burdens by ourselves. That's why, uh, why 109 years ago, a group of people here at Potter's Creek got together. We didn't want to have to go into life and worship together. So they began meeting in one another's homes. And whatever they did, one of the things they did for sure was to have a time to let their burdens down. As we come to our prayer today, we look at the circles and the prayer requests front altar, requests that you filled out last week, and I invite you to again this week, fill out your prayer request. What is it that is deepest in your heart? You don't have to put self-identifying information in. But we want to make concrete this reality. Whatever our needs are, whatever our joys are, whatever our sorrows are, God knows because God's a part of us. In God we live, we move, we have our being. So what is it you need to touch spirit on? What is it you need to know if you've got that force of creation in your core? What is it that you need to be reminded that that mystery that creates you is here to sustain you and see you through to eternity? Let's fill those requests out. As Kathy sings for us now, a song that says, God loves the lullaby and a mother's tears in the dead of night better than a hallelujah sometimes. God is always present.
Then I 